What's going on guys? I'm Joe, Joe's Python Room, and today I just want to talk to you about my new ball python that I just received a couple days ago. Now I know I said I was going to do an unboxing video, but however, when the snake arrived, it was kind of unexpected that the breeder, the person I got her from, he actually delivered her to my house himself, and he didn't have her in our box. He had her in one of the pillowcases. So, yeah. He gave me the snake. I'm standing there. You know, I got the snake in my hand, talking to the guy. Didn't realize that the bag wasn't tied. So, standing there. All of a sudden, I feel a little, you know, on, on my hand. I look down. Sure enough, she's coming out, cruising. You know, checking me out already. You know, I'm new to her. But, um, wow, what a beautiful girl. What a beautiful girl. She's three months old, female, super pastel, and I actually have her in this tank right here. Now, I got her I got her in there. She's acclimating. I'm using a uh, a CHE bulb in this uh in this in this lamp here. And as you see I have a uh a thermometer here, digital one. Then I have another one back here. And also inside, on top of the hide on the hot spot, I have a um, a humidity ball, and it's just one that I that I made. I took two little containers, cut cut it, cut each one, put them together, glued it, you know, waited a day so the smell would go away. Put it in, you know, it's nice, it's safe. She it, she's okay, and the humidity is. Pretty well right now it is uh 58% that's okay I usually try not to let the humidity drop to 50% or anywhere lower than that if it even gets close to 50 I'll spray it which I'll spray it down right after this video but um yeah no as soon as she's done acclimating so next few days um I'll feed her Right now, from what I was told, she's currently on small live pinky mice. But I'm going to switch her over. Just like my big boy. I don't know if you guys know him. Zeus. Right now, he's in his hide. I just fed him last night as well as my female over there, which I'm sure you guys know of. But her name is Nina. She actually just shed for me. This was the second time she shed for me since I've brought her home. And both sheds was a full shed. Here, let me get out of the way so you can see that tank. You know, here, let me uh, bring it a little closer so you guys get a uh, better view of the tank. Okay, let me do that. You know, I got the water bowl here. I, I did the hold back with the... Uh, just some branches and some bark. Also, I used uh, the cardboard from a paper towel roll just to give her some sort of tunnel, you know, along the wall. And, I mean, so far, she seems like she likes it. I've saw her, you know, go through it a couple of times since putting her in there. But she seems like she's doing well. Um, oh, yeah, getting back to my female. So, this is the second time she shed for me. Both times, full shed, no eye caps. Thankfully, thank God. Just goes to show, doing something right with the heat and the humidity. You know, um, I will be honest with, with you guys, and you might not like it. You might criticize me, and that's okay. But I do not use thermostats for my, for my, for my enclosures. I don't. And the only reason why is because I, have, I use so many thermometers. I, I, I try to keep at least three thermometers, one on each side of the tank, and then one in the middle, both digital and not digital. That way the, I know the temperature and the humidity of the entire tank, both hot side, cool side, and in the middle. That's just the way I do it. It's just the way I do it, and so far I have not had any issues. They feed my, both my snakes that are feeding, She's not, not yet, but both my snakes that are feeding, feed every week, 
I usually feed them every eight, nine days. I know everyone says, oh, you know, feed them every week, feed seven days. But I believe their di digestion process takes a toll on them. So, like they say, after you feed them, give them about 48 hours before you handle them. And the reason for that is because those 48 hours are the most crucial. Within those 48 hours, if they get nervous or scared, they can still regurgitate what's left of the rodent that's in their belly. So, it usually takes, what, four or five days for them to completely digest? If I'm wrong, I apologize, but, okay, say it takes four or five days for them to completely digest the food. They completely digested four or five days, and now they have nothing in their belly, they're not digesting, and then, bam, two days later, they, they eat again, then they're right back into digestion mode. So me personally, I, I like to give them a couple extra days where they're not digesting, they're not feeling like they have to hide, they can come out and cruise, and they do. My next video will be after they're done di digesting, and when they're coming out, hanging out. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see my pictures, you'll see my videos of my boy. He comes out all the time, and... It's actually funny. He'll sit here and he'll watch the TV. I got a couple of videos of that. Check it out. But um, I'm going to wrap this up. This is my like first video like this, which I hope you like. As you see, my New England Reptile shirt. Big fan of Kevin McCurley. Absolutely love what he does. I love what he's about. And I'm hoping that my next snake will be from him. Kevin, if you see this, my next snake... I want a ball python from you. But until then, hope you guys have a great, great day. Have a great week. Stay safe. And please, take a minute. Take a minute out of your life. Be kind to somebody. If you should see somebody, you know, with groceries or you see somebody, have, you know, struggling with something, stop off, off of them a hand or hold the door for somebody. Just... Do something kind for somebody else and watch what happens. But you guys take care.